What's happening guys? Spio here with the voice of reason and I hope you had a nice Christmas. Anyway, today we will be taking a look at a wet glitch hop base using face modulation. So let's just go right ahead and take a quick listen to an example that I've prepared. <laughs> Okay, if you're at all interested in the bleepy kind of sound, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll cover it next time. But for now, let's just take a look at the face modulation bass. So, chuck in a Thor, turn on the Portramento with a value of about 20, set it to mono, retrigger, and bring up the sustain on the amp envelope all the way. Now for the oscillator, we want a face modulation oscillator, so create one of those and bring down the octave to octave 3. Now, um, the face modulation oscillator isn't used that often, and I think it's kind of a shame because there are some great sounds in there. If we just bring up the frequency on the filter all the way and just play with some settings. You can hear that there are really some great sounds in there which make for great basses. So yeah, face modulation oscillator for the win. Anyway, uh, for our purposes we'll be using the wave with two peaks for the first wave and the wave with just one single small peak for the second one. Now let's move on to the filter. Bring down the envelope and velocity amount all the way and bring up the resonance to about 75, so relatively high value. Um, in Thor we can also turn on the chorus and bring down the delay all the way and the amount on the mod to about 20 and the dry wet to about 22. That just winds the sound a bit. Okay, um, now for automation. We'll be automating two parameters in the Thor. We'll be automating the uh, face modulation amount and the filter frequency. So just alt click them both to create the automation lines. And let me just quickly pull in the MIDI data that I've prepared. So as you can see, just um, the uh, filter frequency and the phase modulation amounts have the same automation values. So um, it's just some basic wobbles, triangle wobbles and some slopes and ramps and stuff. And um, I quite like the fast wobbles with this bass, which just gives a nice sound if we just take a quick listen. I kind of like that sound. Um, yeah. And the notes are just some, some notes I played in earlier, nothing special. So um, if we were to deactivate the filter for a moment and just take a listen to what this sh uh, sounds like. You can hear that we could also go in a kind of dirtier direction with this bass. But I kind of like the wet bass. Yeah, wet basses are cool. Anyway, so the low pass ladder uh, filter with the high resonance um, makes it uh, feel kind of wet, the bass. And yeah. That's cool. But we, as I said, we could also bring down the resonance a bit, add distortion, whatever, to make it a dirty bass. But that's not what I want for today. So we'll move on to creating an equalizer and using the second parameter at 1.4 kilohertz, uh, yeah, 1.4 kilohertz, with a gain of minus 16 dB and a Q of about 4.9, and um, to get rid of some frequencies there, and um, which makes the sound even wetter. <laughs> If we just make a quick A-B comparison. Cutting some frequencies there really does a lot to the sound and I quite like what it does to it. And then we can also use the other parameter at um, 39 Hertz, so the frequency all the way down with the gain all the way down too and the Q at about 7.5 to get rid of some really low frequencies there. We can even um, select a harsher Q value at about 9. Um, but you don't have to do that. You could also just high pass it on the mixer and then replace the low frequencies with a, with a sub, which is probably the better solution. But anyway, you can also turn on the low cut to get rid of frequencies below 30 Hertz. Now let's just move on to creating a compressor as usual with the usual settings. So 16.1 ratio, bring down the threshold a bit and give it some input gain so we actually have something to crush. <laughs> Sweet. And that's already it for the rack. Um, I would not recommend processing the sound anymore because unison and distortion and even a little reverb can take away lots of the wetness. Um, and that's just not what this bass is about. We want this bass to be like full on and just wet resonance uh, wobble kind of style.
yeah, if that made sense. I hope it did. <laughs> Yeah, that's it for the wet glitch hop base. Um, if this tutorial was useful, drop a like. That would be much appreciated. And uh, as I said, if you want a tutorial on the bleepy kind of sound, just say so in the comments below and I'll make a video on it. Okay, this has been Spio with the Voice of Reason. I'll see you next time. Have a good one of whatever you have.